Intrigue, an exciting television drama played against the tense background of present-day Europe. Starring tonight, James Daly as Michael Powers, foreign correspondent for Associated News. Produced in Europe, especially for television, by Sheldon Reynolds. Western Europe. More than a dozen different nations crowded into an area about half the size of America. Monarchies, republics, democracies. Some of them older than the American democracy, and some of them created yesterday. But in old democracies, as well as new ones, the forces of the law sometimes find that the fairness of democratic justice can be twisted to protect the guilty, as well as the innocent. cover the front and the back. The rest will go in through the back entrance. I'll go in through the front entrance. Yes, sir. Tell your men to be ready to shoot to kill. But to get him alive, they possibly can. This time you're sure? Yes, we've had plenty of chances to pick him up before, but we never had a strong enough case. And he's very well protected by very powerful people, but this time. This time we've got him. The men have gone in the rear entrance. Everything is ready. All right. Let's go. Search the place, sir. He's holed up in a room down the hall. The rest of the place is empty. Stay here, Mr. Powers. Come on. Savage. Come out with your hands up. The place is surrounded. Come and get me. The doors are locked. I'll give you ten seconds, Savage. Come on in. Don't move, Savage. You're... I told you the door was unlocked. You and your friends don't need all those guns. You're under arrest, Savage. All right, Chief. I suppose you'll want to handcuff me. Something wrong, Chief? Handcuff this man, take him to the headquarters. Keep him under double guard. Chief? Yes, everything all right. This is Derek Savage. Which one of you gentlemen is Michael Powers? I am. Why? You should be more careful, Mr. Powers. <laughs> Your friend here has talent. Better than that, he's very well trained. He brings to me everything that he steals. Shall we take this one along too, sir? Yes, take him down and book him on suspicion. Easy arrest, Chief, wasn't it? I hope you know what you're doing, because I know what I'm doing. I can't understand this. He looks as if he wanted to be arrested. It's all wrong. I don't like it. 
You sure you've got a case against him? We've got documented evidence that'll hang him. It's foolproof and airtight. Something wrong. Savage is only a hard killer with a gang, Mr. Powers. But he's in the employ of the strongest organized subversive group in the country. Exactly how strong is that group here? Oh, it's been one of those vicious cycle situations. This group has had the money and contacts to protect Savage. Partially because Savage is an army of killers that in turn can terrorize the enemies of this group. And if you can convict Savage, you can break the cycle and this group. We can do it now. Are you sure your case is as airtight as you thought it was before you arrested Savage? This is it, Mr. Powers. It's taken us years. We've had to fight this group. The men and methods they put in our way to stop our investigations. Witnesses that were terrorized or killed. But this is it. Documentary evidence, affidavits, and photographs that will hang Savage and drive the group that protects him out of their key position. I understand you've been unable to set the trial for tomorrow. We want to strike quickly. It should not take long once we have submitted what we have here. The preliminary hearing is in the morning. We shall present our evidence in the afternoon. What about Savage's gang and the people who pay him? The gang is fanatically loyal to Savage. With him gone, it will be easy to deal with. And the people Savage has worked for couldn't beat this evidence, even if they bribed the judge. With Savage and their private army finished, they will be too weak to make trouble. I'd like very much to meet this Savage, if it's all right with you. Mm. That can be arranged. He's in a cell here at the Hall of Justice. From now until he's convicted and executed, he will never leave this building. I'll phone the cell block. Come on out, Rudolph. The chief says we are to let you go. Savage, I want to see Savage. Come on. My name is Michael Powers. I have the prosecutor's permission. Yes, sir. The chief told us to expect you this way. Tell them one to see Savage. Please tell them one to see Savage. Good boy, Rudolph. Come on, Rudolph. Tell them I said everything is fine, Rudolph. Tell them I said they can go ahead. How is you, Savage? This is Mr. Powers. I know, Mr. Powers. You have a nice watch, Mr. Powers. You are careless with it. Rudolph again, eh? First my wallet, now my watch. And both of them he gave right to me. You see the way I train my men? I'll leave you here, Mr. Powers. Just come to the gate when you want to live. Uh, thanks. Well, if the rest of your men are no brighter than Rudolph, I, I don't want bright men, Mr. Powers. I want men who do what I say. Men who think are dangerous. But men who don't think are more dangerous, Savage. Like Rudolph? <laughs> don't be foolish. He died for me. What's Rudolph going to do after you're gone? What's going to become of your gang? Let me tell you, Mr. Powers, that tomorrow in that courtroom, there will be no conviction. They've got all the evidence, Savage. More than enough of it. This is absurd, this trial. They can't do anything to me. Instead of trying me, they could be making me an officer. Well, they have no need to bargain with you, Savage. They've got you. For the present, but not for long. I am a professional. I work for those who pay the highest. If they pay me more, I work for them. No decent government would hire your kind, Savage. That's why I work for the others. That's why I will go out of here a free man. Because they are such a decent government, with such decent laws. Why do you think I let them capture me? I know their laws as well as they do, better than they do. And what's your plan is, Savage? But it's not going to work. This time you're over your head. This time, your friends, 
can't help you. Wait and see, Mr. Powers. Wait and see what happens in that courtroom. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> And further, the accused stands charged with sedition in the first degree, incitement to riot, armed attack, and the direction of an armed attack on various persons and places, of murder in the first and second degree, extortion... He was full of confidence last night. I wonder how he feels today. Once the charges have been read and the evidence and presented, there is nothing he can do. He kept on saying he was going to use the law to free himself. His own law, possibly, not ours. crimes. The said savage will stand trial in this court this day. Mr. Sandane, you will present your evidence this afternoon. It's all prepared, Your Honor. Court is adjourned until 3 p.m. Return the prisoner to his cell. Come along, savage. Back down, sir. down the back way. They're trying to break him out. No blood completely covered. Everybody got in it. Savage in his cell? Yes, sir. Are all the entrances covered? Yes, sir. But they'll be trying to burn us out. I'll say that to them. It's too important for you. I think they met more resistance than they expected. Hear that, Savage? It didn't work. No, Savage. It didn't. You lost. I don't know what you mean, gentlemen. I didn't lose anything. I didn't lose at all. Mr. Sundane? Mr. Sundane? Please come immediately, sir. What is it? What's the matter? The gang. While we're defending a cell block, they broke into your office. Safe? Did they get into the safe? I don't know, sir. Better come. <laughs> <laughs>
Courage as men attacked the cell blocks simply to divert us. As soon as ever, they raided your office. And got every shred of evidence we had. They didn't get Savage. Of course not. They never meant to get him. And he's still guilty. And still in prison. It's not so simple, Mr. Powers. Our law, like yours, states that no man may be tried twice for the same offense. I've called this trial. And we have no evidence. We have a prisoner and nothing to convict him with. Well, then the only thing to do is to ask for a postponement until you get that envelope back or get duplicates of what it contained. A duplicate of that evidence would be impossible. And a postponement would be useless. Aren't there any witnesses you could call? Aren't the people you got your evidence from still available? I imagine by this time they've gone underground as far as they can. They only signed those papers on the assurance that we would protect them and convict and execute Savage. Right now, those witnesses are so scared, they can't do anything. And I don't blame them. That envelope is a death warrant for everyone who signed an affidavit or gave a deposition. It's also obvious now why Savage didn't resist arrest. Why he let us find out where we could capture him. All we can hope for is a dismissal. What happens if you don't get the dismissal? If you're forced to go on with this trial and present evidence you don't have? Well, Savage will be acquitted and we'll never be able to try him again. But this raid and theft is adequate grounds for dismissal. That's where the similarity between your country and ours stops, Mr. Powers. If such a thing did happen in your country, the case would be continued until new evidence would be gathered. Here, anything can happen. Well, you try and get a dismissal, and I'll try and recover that envelope. But I don't think either of us stands much chance. Chief, where can I find Savage's little stooge, the pickpocket? You mean Rudolph? Ah. I suppose the desk sergeant can locate him for you, but we couldn't hold him for anything. Oh, I know, I know. I, uh, I had something else in mind. Hmm. See you in court, Mr. Sunday. Rudolph, the little pickpocket. You'll probably find him outside the Hall of Justice. He's been there all morning. Waiting for Savage, I suppose. We buried him from the courtroom. Was he mixed up in the fight there? Not in any way we could prove. But I can have him brought in if you like. Oh, no. No, thanks. I'll find him. Rudolph! Rudolph, I've been looking for you. I'm waiting for Savage. You shouldn't be out here, Rudolph. I want to see Savage. You'd better not. Savage is pretty mad at you. Savage mad at me? Yeah. At me? It's a shame. Just when he needs you badly, you disappoint him. You're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? Why don't you walk along here with me? I'll tell you about it. That envelope, you didn't destroy it. No, no, but that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. We, we should destroy it, you see. It's, it's not safe to have around. I want it. We should burn it. Suppose I something... want it kept. I want to read what they collected about me. I want to know who gave evidence against me. And then, when you got me out of here, I want to see them all. All right, we'll keep it. Uh, is everything arranged for the session this afternoon? Everything. The only thing they can do now is ask for dismissal, but uh, we can't block that. Good. Have you seen Rudolph? Mm-hmm. Not since the raid. Why? Oh, I told him to stay out of sight during the raid. But I wish he was here. I don't feel... I, I don't feel lucky when he's not around. <sighs> because you pulled out and, and planned today, you, you don't need the help of any half the pickpockets to, to bring you luck. You make your own luck. Court in session, Savage. Come on, Savage. This is our moment. Nothing, nothing can go wrong now. What are you worried about? Oh, I don't know. 
I just wish Rudolph was here. This court is now in session. Your Honor, the prosecution begs the court's indulgence and petition for dismissal of this case. Objection, Your Honor. Defense begs to know on what grounds the petition is made. On what grounds is this petition made? As I have no doubt, my honorable colleague knows, an armed robbery was committed today at the Hall of Justice. The evidence on which the prosecution based its entire case was stolen from our office safe. Oh. Your Honor, the court well knows how the prosecution has worked to bring this case to trial. For several months, my client, innocently pursuing the course of his life, has been the object of a gigantic search. His alleged crimes have been publicized by the prosecution. Objection! Sustained. I retract it. I wish only to say that my client gave himself up to the police in the certainty that he had committed no crime and that no one could prove him guilty of any crime. He can be held responsible for any alleged robberies of the Hall of Justice. He is only interested in clearing his good name of the fall and unjust charges made against it. Unless the prosecution can show good and sufficient cause for the dismissal of this trial, I am forced to sustain the objection of the defense. But, Your Honor, the Chief of Police and I are prepared to testify under rule that the raid on my office was performed by members of the gang led by the accused. How could he leave this gang when he was locked in a prison cell? Your Honor, these are assertions and can carry no weight in a court of law. The prosecutor should remember to lock his office. <laughs> Are you in a position to prove these assertions, Counselor? I could, Your Honor, provided I'm allowed sufficient time. The prosecution should bear in mind... That Going all right? Perfectly. Let him argue. There's not a chance of a dismissal. The judge is not too happy with this story of the robbery of the evidence. You better be right. Don't be so nervous. You're as good as free. I wish Rudolph was here. I'd feel better. And the three men killed by the police during the attack on the Hall of Justice are men who have been long associated with the accused. Savage! Why does he savage? Why? Savage! Moreover, the only materials stolen from my office were those directly connected with this case. Objection, Your Honor. How can we know there ever was any such evidence as the prosecution says that was stolen? The defense's point is well taken. We cannot recognize what only you assure us existed and was stolen. We cannot accept its theft as grounds for a dismissal. Savage! You must be savage! Oh, savage! My orders are to keep him out from the courtroom. Let me go in, Savage! Wait a minute, it's important. Mr. Powers, my orders are to keep him out from the courtroom. I'll take the responsibility. All right, Mr. Powers. Rudolph, did you do what I told you? Yes, yes, but not for you. Oh, no, not for me. Go to Savage. Maybe, Rudolph, you finally got here. Order! I didn't Order. stop it, Savage. Who is Don't that be man? mad. That newspaper man Powers helped me, but you know I bring you everything I steal. What did you bring me? That's the evidence that was stolen from the safe. 